In this video, we are going to see how to sell digital downloads with Razorpay and OneDrive. Now, let's say that I have this online course and for this, every time there is a user who makes the payment through Razorpay, which is a payment gateway. What I want is with the help of OneDrive. So, there is a file. I want to share the link of that particular file to the user via WhatsApp. So, how can I do this? For this, I will have to integrate Razorpay with Interact, which is going to help me in sending WhatsApp messages. And I can do the same with the help of Pabli Connect. So, here my trigger application will be Razorpay and my action application will be Interact. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. Now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Now on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is that every time a payment is made through Razorpay, then let's say that it is for an online course. So that particular online course PDF file should be sent by the user who has just enrolled through WhatsApp. So I'm going to name it as sell digital downloads with Razorpay and OneDrive. Let's click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. Now here you can see one is trigger, another one here is action. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. So here, let's say the trigger application as per this integration will be Razorpay. So I'm going to click on this. And now the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow start. And here it would be payment captured. So now here you can see that we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting public connect with Razorpay. I'm going to copy this. Now once copied, we have to follow the following steps. So now I'm going to take you to Razorpay dashboard. And here we have accounts and settings. So for the integration, I'm going to go to webhooks. And here I'm going to click on add new webhook. Now here we are going to paste the URL that we have just received. And for the active events, I'm going to select payment captured. Now let's click on create webhook. So you can see that the webhook has been saved successfully going back to Pabli Connect. So here it is saying that now do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So basically we have to make a mock payment. So I'm going to take you back to Razorpay and here we have to go to payment pages. Now let's say that I want to purchase this particular course, online PHP course for beginners. So I'm going to copy this, open this in a new incognito window. And as I do that, this here is the payment page. Now let's provide the details. First name here is new. And then the name of the product is this. The last name is dummy. Then here we have the email address, new dummy at pablitudes.com. And then we have the WhatsApp number, then we have the preferred date. So let's say the date is 26th of April. And what is the time that I need? It is 10 to 11 a.m. I'm going to click on pay. And as I do that, here it is asking me for the payment mode. So I'm going to select card and here we have the mock details already. So once done, let's click on pay now and pay without saving card. So as we do that here, it is asking me whether I want to make this payment successful or not. So I'm going to click on success. And as I do that, you can see that the payment has been successful. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. So here it is. And you can see that we have received the API response. So first of all, the status of the payment that it has been captured. This here is the order ID. Then we have the email address, phone number. This is the name of the course. This here is the preferred date, last name, first name. Then this here is the enter time. And what is the payment mode? It is card. So again, as I take you down, we have this information and this here is the amount, but the amount actually was 499, but here it is showing as 49,900. Why? Because there is a little glitch with reserve pay. It doesn't take the decimal point into consideration. So once I have received this information, what is my objective here? My objective is to send a WhatsApp message to my user. So I'm going to choose my action application as interact. 
which helps in sending WhatsApp messages. And what is the action event here? Here it would be send WhatsApp template messages. Let's click on connect. And here we can see that Pavli Connect wants to connect itself with the Interact account. I'm going to select add new connection. And now we need the secret key to set up this connection. So for this first we have to log in to our Interact account. So I've already done that. And now I'm going to click on this hyperlink. And as we do that here you can see that this is the developer settings page. Now this here is your secret key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pavli Connect and paste this over here. Once done, let's click on save to set up this connection. And now here Pabli Connect is connected with Interact and we have to map this information. So first of all, we have the country code, phone number and full phone number. So if you have the complete phone number, you can directly fill in here. If you have only the phone number and not the country code, then you have to first enter the country code here and then your phone number here. You can leave this blank. So here you can see that the information that I have received. So here I have the number with the country code. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to enter the full phone number. Okay, so as we take you down, this here is the complete number. Then we have the template code name. So here let's click on this hyperlink and it is going to take us to the library of templates. You can see that I already have a lot of active templates. And now I'm going to take you down. And this here is a template that I have created. Let me show you the same. So the name of the template is online course link. The category is marketing and the language is English. Then here for the header, you can select a text, image, video or document. I have selected none. Then again, let's come to the body. So here you can see dear, then there is a name. You have successfully paid for another number within double curly braces. And then we have here is the link for the online course another number with double curly braces now what are these numbers so these numbers are basically variables and here you can actually customize all the messages that you're sending you would ha not have to write this manually again and again so basically we needed the template code and for that we are going to go to the address bar and this here is our template code i'm going to copy this go back to Pavli connect and paste this over here now the next thing is language code. So the language code here would be EN and then the header value. So we do not have any header value. So I'm just going to leave this blank. So now comes the body variable values. So first of all, I'm going to map the name and how do I do this? So this is the name of the person new I'm going to give a space. And again, I'm going to take you down and this here is the name. So first of all, we have entered the name of the person. The next thing is the name of the course. For this, again, I'm going to go to step one, go down. This here is the name of the course. And now here we have to enter the link of the document that is supposed to be shared with the customer. For that, I'm going to take you to my OneDrive. And here you can see that there is a new folder online course file. So I'm going to click on this. And here is the PHP course PDF. So I'm going to click on the three dots, click on share. Now here you can see that we have the option anyone with the link can edit. So you have got multiple options can edit or can view. And then if you wish to select a few people with whom you want to share the data, you can do all of this here. I'm going to click on apply and now I'm going to copy this link once the link has been copied. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. So once pasted, now comes the position of CTA button. So since we haven't selected any, I'm going to leave this blank. Now the value of variable and dynamic URL, again, I'm going to leave this blank. Click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received the API response. Now I'm going to take you to WhatsApp. And yes, you can see that we have received the message. Dear dummy, you have successfully paid for the online PHP course for beginners. And here is the link for the online course. Happy learning regards. So this basically means that our integration is a success, but we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Razorpay and here I'm going to copy this link once again, open this in a new incognito tab. And once we have opened this, I'm going to complete the payment. So the first name, let's say it is smart. The last, then we have the product name. Then the last name is user. Then here is the email address, smart user at pabli tutes.com and then we have the whatsapp number and here is the preferred date and this is the preferred time now i'm going to click on pay and now here i am going to select card once again here i'm going to fill in the details 
and now I'm going to click on pay now so pay without saving card and once we do that I'm going to click on success so here we can see that the payment has been successful which basically means now I should receive a message on WhatsApp if this integration is a success and here you can see that yes we have received the message so finally our integration is a success let's quickly go to Pabli connect and understand what we have done so here our trigger application is razor pay where the event is payment captured and our action application is interact where the event is sent WhatsApp template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.